the unofficial kickoff to summer. And if your holiday weekend plans include a visit to Lake Tahoe, enjoy the shoreline while you can. The lake is expected to be full for the first time in five years. Thanks to our two recent wet winners. Thanks so much for staying with us at 530. I'm Hunter Sowers and I'm Curtis Mang. Being at capacity brings its own challenges. Your reporter Kayla Moeller is getting answers on the impact. You never snow how high the lake will go. Yeah. It's the first time in five years Lake Tahoe has been this full of water. Oh, it's really high. You can always tell by the pier because there are summers when the water's so low you can kayak right under it. This is some of the highest water I've seen. So how do you know when it's full? Um, U.S. District Court Watermaster Chad Blanchard says they have a U.S. Geologic Survey gauge on the lake that they watch daily. A full lake means a lot of things. Healthy environment, less fire danger, better boating, but more water also means less beach. It means perhaps our beaches might be a little bit, you might be a little closer to your friend um, or closer to your your new friend. Right now, the water is sitting about a half of a foot below full, but officials say depending on weather in about a month, it'll reach capacity. As it makes the beach really small. It's Memorial Day weekend and summer crowds are just around the corner. It definitely compresses everybody. Uh, so it, it, it leads to some challenges, but the trade off is the great water. We still have beaches. There's a lot of beach access all the way around the lake. Um, if if it feels a little closer, it, it is because it's that's the, that's a real thing. But the USDA says when the lake is full, it could provide enough water supply for three years, even if future snowpacks are below normal.